What's going down, man? It's Donnie Houston. Check it out, man. COVID is going nowhere, all right? They got new strains coming out, the Omarion or Omarion or whatever that is, you know what I'm saying? But uh, hey, man, we going into year two of this thing, year three, really, you know what I'm saying? And um, the only way to make sure you're safe is to stay safe, you know what I'm saying? So listen, I need you to go to findcovid19test.com. They're doing COVID tests, swabbing, you know what I mean? You can get them uh, to come out for your company, for your kids' football team, uh, anything you have going on, man. So find COVID19test.com, man. You need to get that today. Take care of yourself. Make sure you and your loved ones are safe. So, were well, you were there? Because I did not see, uh, didn't Cardi B, like, show you some love or something? Uh-huh, like yeah. absolutely, yeah. She, you been able, uh, y'all been able to connect? Uh, no, no. <laughs> 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 no, we wasn't. But, I mean, I appreciated the love, though. Hmm. That mean, you know, like, it's just nice sometimes to know that people see you. Mm-hmm. So, and then especially somebody to say that they see you. You know, usually people just see you and you keep on scrolling, but it's like, that was cool that she Acknowledged you. you. Yeah, like, actually, like, said something. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. So what? So what's been like the like adjustment for you? You know what I mean to like this whole new thing now. Um, a lot of people ask that, and it's kind of like I don't feel like any different. It's like almost like you grow with yourself, cause like how you were saying that I was at this. Like I done grew with it for so long. It's like sometimes you don't really see what's going on or see your accomplishments, mm-hmm. and then other people have to point them out to you sometimes. So it's like it's been pretty much like a just a flow. Like I just been going and like just staying true to myself and like it just it don't feel like i feel like i'm gonna know when i feel it it's gonna be when i can't go nowhere hmm. <laughs> so it's just it's been cool did you did you do uh your last project you came out on asylum oh uh, yeah with yeah. asylum mm-hmm. that's what's up so you signed deal yeah, yeah yeah they're um asylum is an independent label mm-hmm. you know um so it's you know it's it's a um I would kind of compare them to maybe like an empire, mm-hmm. you know, like something like you don't that. You know, like Asylum this. is they OG as far as independent, especially like pushing in the southern region, you know. What Absolutely. I mean? yeah. And so it was it was like a long time coming before because a lot of people think that I wasn't signed because I was slept on. But it's like, nah, I turned down pretty much everybody because they had some fuck deals, you know. Trying so to put, it was, trying to 360 yeah, they yeah. was they was trying to fuck me up. And I was like, I'm not I wasn't that eager to get into something to where it's like I would just sell all my. You know, like, you be really selling your soul. I feel like that's what the definition of selling your soul is. Not, like, always demonic. Like, people think it's just, like, you literally give Give up everything. You give up everything, like, your whole life, your whole career, your whole, everything you worked for and put it in the hands of these people that just do what they want with it. Like, puppet your whole entire career, which it works for some people, but it's, like, the more people that I see, they tell me not to do that. You know, like, they be in their deals. You think they happy, but it's, like, they don't be happy. So, with asylum, it's, like, I have that still that freedom with just more backing. Hmm. So it was, I felt like it was fit perfectly for me there. I thought I was going to be by myself forever. I was ready too, but it was like, they really came with something that was fair to me. Like it was like about me. So, so before that you, it was just moving, just you and Cooley. No, me and my uh, manager, Melissa, but Cooley was actually my first, my first manager and when I first started rapping and then uh, I started managing myself and then I met Melissa and then, me and Cooley, she became my manager again. <laughs> I fought her ass. Shout out to Cooley. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm on death row, baby. <laughs> yeah, that bitch was like, like a fucking ex in my line. She was on my line. I was like, this lady's crazy, <laughs> but I love her. Oh, man, that's what's up. So, okay, where you from, Ken? Uh, uh, Northside, Houston. Northside. Nice. Where the north side you from? Exhomes. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> already. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, did you grow up like being influenced from stuff over there, like listening to like everything, switch eyes and all that? No, actually, like I, it's like I got older and started kind of catching up. Like, like I didn't grow up like my daddy had me love song dog. Like I was listening to motherfucking Jaheem and Avon and motherfucking <laughs> all of these people. You know, it, it was like I didn't really grow up. I feel like in heavy Houston culture, and except the one zero song that he would play over and over, slow line, bang, right? it's slow uh, line, uh, uh, yeah. and it was crazy yeah. because I used to be so tired of hearing that song. It was him and my brother, and they would run that bitch out, <laughs> and then I started going to Lockwood, 
and they would stop the whole thing and just walk around like with this nigga so loud and banging. And I was like, oh, bitch, my daddy. <laughs> I know this motherfucker. I'm gonna say this shit out this. So it was. It was, it was <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. I was like, damn, they taught me stuff. It was so loud and banging. So, yeah, I, I feel like I, I kind of caught wind of like Houston culture a little late because my dad wasn't, he don't really listen to rap. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.